Hello again, everyone. It's been a long time since we've uploaded a video. Uh, we've just been busy with a new business that we took over and we've kind of ran out of ideas since COVID's still not over and we can't film and, and whatnot. Um, we did have a suggestion for uh, showing how this coin roller machine works as well as showing it rolling the coins and whatnot. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I have a couple quarters that we've collected that we're going to show how it works. One thing I would like to mention that I forgot is the machine seems kind of light. But when you're actually rolling, if you push too hard, it, it moves back fairly easily. So with our 3D printer, I just 3D printed that bracket there. Then it stops the machine from falling off the end of the table. It works really good and now we have absolutely no issues with this machine. But what I used to do was put a couple full boxes of coins on top of it and it would solve my problem. Model number anymore. I think it's a S170. Um, here's the power button. It's the only button there is on the machine. This is what spins to actually crimp it. And then all of your uh, tool heads, I guess you'd call them, are in here. And I've only got the three because when it comes to like nickels and dimes and stuff, we don't get that many. So we just pinch those over by hand. Uh, so we got quarters, loonies, toonies, since we're in Canada. Um, all they do is magnetically click onto the motor and they stay there. We've never had one come off. I don't think it's even possible. Um, and the, the machine doesn't have enough power to hurt you, in my opinion. Because even if it gets really loud, so we're actually going to have to probably put music over it or, or whatever when I'm showing you how they crimp. But I'll just turn this on and show you just how weak the motor actually is. So I don't, I don't, honestly don't think you could even really hurt yourself with it. Um, so I don't know how many rolls I got here. I think there's about 15 rolls of quarters. I'll just show you how it works. Um, it's, it's pretty quick. Every once in a while you do like mess up a tube, but you just got to get a new tube and, and you're, you're fine. Um, yeah, anyways, I'll go ahead and do this and I'll let you know my thoughts afterwards. As you guys saw there, it goes pretty quick. Um, I, one sec. Do the last one that I dropped. I do, I do think part of the reason that every once in a while these mess up is because the rolls that we're using are kind of cheap. The paper on them isn't super thick or anything, um, but it's not its not too bad and it's not very common that it happens. Uh, we're definitely not interested in switching rolls. I know that these ones that we buy from the dollar store are substantially thicker paper, but they're so much harder to actually roll. Um, and the amount that we go through, we'd be selling out the dollar store. So that's why we have to buy them in bulk in cases um, as for the machine itself, we, we love it since we bought it. We haven't had any issues. Uh, you can switch between the, the two heads anytime you want super quickly. Um, and like I said, it, it just goes really fast when you're rolling a, a whole bunch of change. If you guys have any more questions, please just let us know and we'll try and get a little more on top of making videos. We do have um, the new business that we just bought, we do have a couple of videos planned for that. Uh, 
we did mess up though and not film all the renovations and whatnot that we did just because we had contractors on site and we didn't want to waste their time so we can we can show you what we've done compared to what it was and stuff and we'll we'll go from there uh, if you guys like the video please like comment and subscribe and have a great day